Looking forward to visiting friends or family at their cottage this summer? Make sure to mind your manners. It's not just about being polite. It's about getting an invite back. Am I right? So here with Etiquette Tips is Shona Jensen. <laughs> All right, Shones, come on in here. First of all, does one of us need to leave? <laughs> no, I think we're fabulously orange. <laughs> <laughs> we did not plan this, and you oh, very boy. rarely wear orange, and nor do I, yeah. so I think that it's like, it's a sign. We're, we're supposed just, to be together we're today. We're orange, you just want to squeeze you. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, I did, yeah. Listen, whether we call it a cottage, a chalet, a cabin, a summer house, there are a few things you need to keep in mind, mm -hmm. and now that you live out in the country, you have mm -hmm, people mm -hmm. coming to see you and hang out with you, and the first thing <laughs> I want to say is when someone owns a cottage or a country home, yeah. it is not you going to an all-inclusive hotel. Yes. It's yes. not the same. Yes. I, right? Say that again. No, I'm only yeah, kidding. Yeah, like yeah, you're yeah, not yeah. there to serve people right. three meals and they sort of sit back and do nothing. Like there's, you also have a bit of an obligation. Totally. And especially if it's a secondary home, like a, you know, a cottage or a cabin. Yes. Or it's their recreational property as well. Like, right. like they're looking to have fun and relax. Yes. You know, yes. so you have to keep that in mind. Yes. And we're going to keep that in mind throughout all the tips you're going to give yeah. us, which are really good tips. So we're going to start with packing. Packing. Yeah. So heading to the country or a rural area. That's a hard nice. word, but I'm going to work my way through that. It's a hard one to it roll off your tongue. Yeah. 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 This is a great bag, isn't it? It's beautiful. So here's what you have to pack. Everything has to be washable. Yeah. And easily washable. Like nothing precious comes for this weekend away or yes. get away or however long it like, is. Like Shona's not wearing that and I'm not wearing this. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and the sequin tank is not making it into the bag. It is not making it into the bag. This is the nope. cotton things. We want washable shoes. Yeah. We want the all the washable cotton type fibers. We're not doing Soft. cashmeres and things like that. Even your bag can be washable. This really yeah. amazing weekender bag is from Rothy's which is a nice. brand that I've loved and it the whole bag goes in the dish in the washing machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because if you're at a cottage and if you're going to enjoy it it's messy. Yeah. Your bonfires. You're gonna stink like a bonfire. You're gonna get yeah. a little muddy. You're gonna get a little dirty. Although I love that stink. I know it's good, oh right? Oh my gosh, when someone smells like they were just like it's wood fired. Yes, yes, oh, yeah. I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It is but a really yeah, good it's smell. Going to, don't bring your cute stuff because everything's got to be a wash. You might get a bit yeah. muddy and it's gonna be wet if and there's a lake. Like yes, and half, and if you're not dressed properly in that like easy to wear clothes mm. and wash, then you're not gonna join in all the fun, and that's no. why you're there. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about um, septic systems. Yes. Let's. Because that's specific you're going to somewhere that might not have the same plumbing you're used to yeah particularly people who live their whole lives or, or predominantly in places that have like services in the city and yeah. or urban areas you may not understand that septic systems when you're not on those city services it's a self-contained property yeah they can be really finicky and they've got mm -hmm. special rules and then take it a step further to these really really rustic like cabins and things they may not even have full-on proper systems is what we say sometimes waste or things can go into rivers or into things like that yeah. they're all okay so we want to make sure of a couple of things we want to make sure you're packing and bringing things like toiletries mm -hmm. that are okay for the environment like good for the environment like we want right. all those things good for you too i mean yeah. hopefully you're using these in the first place but you want all like the phthalates not around you want the sulfates yes. not in you want all these chemicals in it a good example of those would be like walita so this is like your skin creams, your face wash, your body wash that you're using yeah. in the shower when you're showering there. All of that goes into the systems. So it has and they to, have be to be able to handle. And also, don't forget, your, even your mouthwash, your toothpaste, Hello, has really terrific uh, products for that kind of a thing. And then the one thing that is a less delicate thing to talk about, but nothing gets flushed down the toilet unless it came out of you. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. And usually septic safe, septic safe toilet paper can go down, but if it's a really rustic property, I yeah. think you should ask if any of that's acceptable. Yeah. Everything else goes into a trash can. So you can go pee, but then the toilet paper's got to go in the trash can. Possibly. This yeah. is a good conversation to have before you leave your house, because maybe you yeah. just want to say, no, maybe I'm not free this weekend. A hundred percent. Listen. Ooh, I'm busy. I forgot. Yeah, I'm not that kind of girl. Like, right. I have, one of our best friends have a beautiful cabin, but it's an outhouse. I've never seen it. Can't never do will. It. Yeah. Not interested. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. not going. Yeah. Okay, let's talk food. Food is a big one because you want everybody should be sort of helping out with the meals, maybe. Yeah. Have a conversation about that. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a conversation about helping out with the meals. If you're yeah. a guest, you can still pitch in, especially if it's that kind of recreational property. Mm -hmm. Offer to make a meal. Yeah. Offer. Can I bring a meal? At least bring some appetizers. Yes, you're probably going to bring a bottle of wine or some flowers, and that's definitely lovely for the host later. Mm -hmm. But pitch in on that weekend. Yes. And if you plan to do that, um, if you're going to buy the grocery, you have to have a co cooler, cooler, coolers. Yeah. Bring it, even if you don't think you're going to need it, mm -hmm. because... If you're getting groceries before you leave the city to get there, you have to bring them in the cooler because yeah. they have to make it the couple of hour drive. Yes. If you plan to get the groceries in the same area as where the cabin is, grocery stores in rural areas are not close. Like they're probably not around the corner. So you're buying a big flat of chicken breast and you have to get it back. Bring a cooler. Your right. groceries come back in that. Yeah. I mean, cottage life is just hand in hand with coolers. And not to mention, you're probably going to want it down on the dock if you're lucky enough to be on a lake yeah. for your app, for your nibbles or for your drinks or what have you. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then pro tip, you know, you always want to go for that last swim before you leave if you're lucky enough to be on the water. Mm -hmm. Your wet swimsuits and your wet towels go in the cooler for the ride home Smart. so they're not all sopping in all of your luggage and That's everything. That's great. Yeah. And I did say talk to the host because some hosts are going to have the whole meal plan figured out for the weekend and they don't want you to bring the flat of chicken breast because yes. it will not get eaten. I agree and here's what I in my opinion ask twice. Yeah. Can I bring something? No, 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 that's okay. Maybe they're just being polite. Yeah. So we are in take, Canada. Yeah, totally. <laughs> take a beat and ask a second time. Are you sure? I really want to bring in. I want to pitch pitch in. What can I bring? No, no, really it's okay. Then we're done. Drop because it. Because that the host may really love doing the menu and want everything to go together and really want that might bring them joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they really don't, then yeah. the second time you're asking it gives them the opportunity to be like, okay, why don't you bring some appetizers yes. for the first night? Or whatever it might be. Totally. Yeah. I've had somebody come to my house before, a friend, and you know, she I said don't bring anything and like several times and she still brought a whole like meal. And I was sort of like Right. We don't have room for it. It doesn't fit and the might, meal that I made. I you know what that. I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. like, listen to them when they say no. Yeah. Um, carbon footprint. Do we want to talk a little bit about that? Carbon footprint. Yeah. Especially if you're renting a cottage or a, a property. Yeah. What you bring in has to come out. Yes. So, bring a garbage can. Bring garbage bags. Yes. If they don't have trash removal services. Yeah. That is something you absolutely have to ask because mm -hmm. it... It is more than just being a messy, annoying, poor guest to leave trash there. Yeah. If you're putting the trash out at the curb or it's something thinking it's going to get picked up, and the problems that can cause in a in a rural or country setting yeah. are massive. The animals will come in. It can be pest problems, and yeah. not to mention all that trash gets blown around and spread across, and it's got a major major impact on the environment. So yeah. what you bring in, you plan to take out. And you might have to drop it off in a dump on your way out of there, right? Yep. That happens a lot. Yep. Mm -hmm. As you were leaving, before we get to the entertainment, as you were leaving, we wake up in the morning. It's the last day. Are we stripping our beds? Okay, I always think you should ask the host. You don't wait to be asked. They're never going to ask you, probably, yeah, unless yeah. you're super close. Yeah. Should, do you want me to strip the bed? Do you want to know why? It's a lot of work. If you've got three bedrooms, you've got to strip them all those guests for next weekend. Maybe you're yes. more friends up. Yeah, it's cardio, as it's, a matter of fact. It is. You are sweating like mustache sweat. Yes. After doing like three beds of it pulling is. all the sheets and then going down to the laundry and putting them back on. It's like, oh my God. Totally. So, yeah, the, so half help. that getting done of stripping your bed is yeah. just a lovely gesture for you to do. You know, to, again, be the good guest, do get yeah. asked back. Listen, I'm out of time, but I just want to say don't rely on the Wi-Fi. That was yeah. one of your tips. Bring entertainment so you can do cards and what have you because uh -huh. that might be all you have. Shona, yeah. thank you so much for that.